Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V Blind. The date is August 15th, 2014, and it's, uh, 1040 or something. My clock's actually, like, five minutes off, so I'll have to adjust it. When I say the clock, no, not the one on the desktop, the one on the... Never mind. Anyways, I think I know what to do now. I was so stumbled in the last episode that I just went pretty much wherever I could access, but I never thought to go inside the motherfucking meteorite here. Why? I honestly don't know. When I first saw the one in the game, I at least looked at it a bit. Is it mirror? Does that kind of look like a Mickey Mouse with, like, fat ears? I don't know. So anyways, if you go in here, there's actually, uh, this thing. It's a little, uh, teleporter thing. Yeah. Um, in another, uh, save that somehow I lost, I don't know how, I actually grinded a couple levels, and I was thinking that somehow I had to kill Sh Shiva. I don't think I was right on that. So, yeah, I'm gonna follow this little lead now. Because, uh, I, I, re I remember them saying that a meteorite fell near, uh, the hell was it called? Galem? Or s something like that, I don't know. So, uh, we're gonna see where this takes us. Well, I'm definitely going to the west. Okay, I'm pretty sure I wasn't at this meteorite before. I'm surprised there isn't any enemies, actually, shit. What sucks is that we lose our little dragon friend, but... Oh well. Shit happens, right? Okay, so... Okay, how are the enemies here? What does that say? Grass tortoise? Okay. That's an interesting thing to call. Actually, try arrow. See if that does any damage at all. Eh, not too much, really. But, uh, I'm glad I have this healing staff, though. This will be useful. Pretty useful, actually, shit. Attack. Yeah. Okay, you attack. Attack. Yeah, so in uh, recent news, you probably, you guys probably already know this, but uh, Robin Williams actually is dead now. He died, uh, I think, Tuesday? What was this? Turtle Shell. Maybe I can sell it for money, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's actually kind of sad, because I really like some of his old movies, like, uh, like Mrs. Doubtfire I got on DVD like, a bit ago, because I, I, you know, I liked it. It was a good movie. Um, I was actually so kind of upset about his death that I actually just went online to Amazon and I bought, uh, Patch Adams. Pretty good, uh, pretty good film with him starring. I think it's really befitting of, uh, like, his character, you know? Actually, I wonder if, uh, Fire on My Blade will help. I wonder if I can use that spell, uh, blade thing on any weapon that my party members feel properly. Shit. Hit there. Or heal. I don't need to hit Gala if he doesn't deserve it. Not yet, at least. So yeah, like, if anyone has ever seen, like, Goodwill Hunting, or, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, or Jumanji, um, you most likely, you most likely know who Robin Williams is. Um, uh, he's also in Hook. Um, a bunch of movies, actually. I haven't seen a lot of the more recent films. The last recent Robin Williams film I probably watched was RV, and that came out, that came out in 2007, so it isn't really that, uh, I wouldn't really say it's recent. It's almost 10 years old now, shit. Um, if I can look up, like, certain movies that are actually pretty good with him in it, like, in his, uh, aging, you know, career and all that... I'll probably watch it. Might not buy it, but I might watch it. You know, it just leads me on to... I mean, there's always going to be a point where your favorite people, like, in acting or in life, die, as well as your eventual death. I try not to think of it too much, but it's going to happen at some point. I kind of wonder how long, like, uh... Like, I wonder how long Jack Nicholson has left, actually. He's another good actor. I really liked him in The Shining. He was a crazy motherfucker. 
Oh shit, I accidentally healed him. Shit. Well, if I find any zombies, uh, that healing staff will definitely be useful. Yay, victory. Damn, I'm getting a lot of kill from that. Look at all this plane here. Do I just keep going north, or... I probably already passed something, I bet. What's that? Aegir? Okay. I was actually debating on watching a movie, but then I thought, uh... I mean, might as well record, you know. I've got ten days left till my semester starts, which... Seems a bit late, shit. You know, August 25th? Seems a bit late. I think last year it was like August... Maybe 18th is when it started, shit. But, uh, this semester shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's mostly, uh... Like, my major, not, you know, bullshit prerequisites like, uh... Like an English class or some stupid shit. And, uh... As opposed to that, um going to be focusing a bit more on uh, the, my assignments because, well, I've gotten a bit rusty in certain programs, like, I can improve in Photoshop a lot more, so, also I might have to get a couple of them, I might have to get a couple of them myself, like, I don't have Illustrator, and I wanted to do work in Illustrator, but, you know, these Adobe programs, they cost so fucking much sometimes. I mean, um, I do have Photoshop on my computer, um, however, I don't think my computer's the fastest anymore, you know? I mean, it might be because I have too much shit on it, it might be because it's only like 4 gigs RAM, you know? Um, probably next year's when I'll get a more up-to-date PC, which is, I'd say, pretty fair. I mean, I've had this for three years now, I'd say. So yeah, of course, you know, I'll have money actually applied to this, uh, one place. It's, you could call it a seasonal gig, I guess. Um, there's this place in the same town as, like, where I go to school. What it basically is, it's like a seasonal store. It sells, like, Halloween costumes and that kind of shit. Um, you know, Christmas decorations, shit like that. And so, it'll basically be a temporary gig, like, you know, like about five months or so. I think it closes in December, give or take. So, uh, I mean, as long as it's just for, you know, even if it's just for five months, it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? And it's not too far from my school, so, like, like, let's say for some of my classes, uh, I get it there at 10 o'clock, okay? And then it lasts until, I don't know, 1.30 or something like that. Now, uh, now let's say I actually, I also have a scheduled day, uh, to work, and I could just, you know, go there and, I don't know, work until, uh, I think it closes at 8, which is just fucking fine by me, because, uh, yeah. After working at Walmart, like, you know, from, like, 1 to 10 shifts, uh, it's like your whole fucking day, day went away. Shit, I just healed that fucking guy, didn't I? Yes, I did. God damn it. Wish these guys were stronger. Gaul is fairly strong. I think he's a monk. Kill you. Please die. Please. Uh, need to heal you, Lena. So that's kind of what's been going on recently. I've been, uh... I haven't really been garage selling, to be honest. Uh, kind of held back on that. Uh, I'm kind of saving up for, like, the Labor Day sales, because that's when shit gets crazy. Ooh, Bart's getting a level. So did Lena. So did Gala. So did Ferris. Uh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck, I already fought you guys, what the fuck, well, at least they're leveling up, these guys must have a lot more experience here, shit, I did that again, I gotta stop doing that, especially since I just healed 300 fucking HP, Jesus Christ, um, let's see what else is new, I actually played like my first FPS, like, it's probably the first one I actually played, like, the campaign or so through. Um, I might have mentioned it in a, in a past video. It's called Duke Nukem Forever. Now, for anyone who's a regular FPSer, uh, they probably think that's jack shit. I honestly don't know what you guys are talking about. I thought the game was decent. I mean, 
the low times will kill the game for some. I will say that right now. It seems like every little section, you gotta have a 30 second load screen. It's, for me, it's 30 seconds. When it first came out, it, you know, it was probably worse than that. But I counted, each load screen is 30 seconds. I haven't counted one that was longer than that, so... You know, people have been complaining, uh, you know, a minute long. I kind of doubt it's a minute long, even when it was first released, but, you know, I missed the whole craze of last-gen gaming, so... go up there, so I guess I'm going down again, shit. Again? Well, at least I'm getting plenty of grinding out of this, fuck. Nothing wrong with catching up, I guess. Fuck you and your critical attack, okay? So glad you have counterattack on, Gala. And, um... You know, if... I mean, first of all, I only got Duke Nukem Forever for like $10, which is extremely cheap for any game, I would say, you know, uh, I kind of feel bad for the motherfuckers that paid $60 when it first came out in 2011, I mean, Jesus Christ, $60 just for that? Are you guys fucking retarded? I guess they were, because they were so hyped up, I, I, I can't get over how long that, that shit was in development for, I mean, honestly, it, it's fucking crazy, see, uh, on the game, after you beat um, the campaign mode, uh, you actually get like these trailers, like for the game. And I shit you not, the first trailer on there was for E3, and it was from 1996. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! You gotta be shitting me, man! You keep, you develop a game for that long? It better be the best fucking FPS. Which, I mean. When you put it that way, you can kind of understand why people are so pissed off, because they've been waiting for this shit, probably since then, since they were like 10 years old, some of them. Now me, I, I've never played Duke Nukem before. The closest thing was probably Doom, is what I played, and I, I only played that for like 10 minutes or so. It's, you know, I actually remember I got a Duke Nukem 3D from a Humble Bundle um, for Steam. I'll probably play that, and then I can rightly kind of compare the series. Um, you know, I don't want to do a whole review of Duke Nukem, but, I mean, it's kind of a staple for me, I, because I, I don't play FPSs, I think they're boring, I think they're, like, multiplayer for FPSs is, to me, it's kind of stupid, because I, I even asked a friend, and he plays a lot of FPSs, I asked him, and, uh, I asked him, uh, hey, isn't, isn't it true that most people who buy FPSs only buy it for the online multiplayer? He's like, mostly, and I'm like, well, if that's the case, you know, I'd rather have a decent campaign than a, you know, than a shit campaign than multiplayer. Because you see, about ten years down the road, they're not going to be able to play that fucking online shit anymore. And to be honest, from what I've heard and, you know, heard people bitch about, it's nothing but campers and hackers, so, you know, and, you know, nine-year-old kids just screaming their lungs out, I mean... I don't see what's appealing about that, I honestly don't. I mean, you know, if you guys want to deal with that, it's fine, but it doesn't really sound like, it doesn't sound like my cup of tea, to be honest. You know, but I mean, I'll play, you know, I'll play some more. There's this friend that I have, he actually likes Battlefield quite a lot. And, you know, people say, oh, Battlefield sucks, Call of Duty's better. I don't fucking know, okay? I don't know what's good or bad, because I haven't fucking played him. The most that I've ever played was probably Halo, and this was probably in the heyday, like when the second game came out on the original Xbox. You know what I mean? Like before this whole COD craze happened. I'm seeing if there's anything more down here. Probably isn't. Plus I'm getting le level. that's always nice. I like how I've just been grinding and talking the last ten minutes, shit. Um... So yeah, um, maybe I might get a Battlefield game. I asked them, like, I think they have three Battlefield games. I asked them, you know, does the third one have a good game? Campaign, I meant to say. He was like, yeah, it's good. I was like, okay, how much is it? He's like, $20. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, if the campaign is good, um, you know, I might buy it at some point. 
probably get it from GameStop at a good price. Uh, even though I don't like GameStop, I don't know. Well, then again, I could just go to Mega Replay. I've gotten some really good shit from them. I'm gonna save here real fast. Let's go in the town first, see what's up. Oh. Um. I don't think that fire is supposed to be up there. It looks like somebody got attacked. Sprint, because sprinting is much more faster. Is much faster. Okay, nothing over there. What do you have to say? Next to the crystal, it's nothing to make weapons and armor. That's why we don't only have the best quality goods in Karnak, but the best, best prices too. Okay. Can I die from that? Oh, that's funny. I can touch and just be like, ah, I fucking touch fire. What was I thinking? So, what do you got, buddy? Mithril knife, mithril sword. This can be used with spellbind, huh? I might buy two mithril swords, actually. Mithril hammer? Who uses hammers? Flame rod, frost rod, thunder rod, flail. Um. I got a good amount of gill. Okay, I will buy. Let me just. Wait. Where'd you come from, dude? Why is he giving me the eye? There they are. They're the ones with the monsters. We saw you all crawl from the meteorite. Don't try to deny it. You didn't see jack shit, you dumb fucks. Besides, I'm fucking busy. Fucking whores! God damn it. Who's that guy over there to the left? He looks like he has really long blonde hair. Shit. Can I talk to you? Sir? Kinda reminds me of Chrono Trigger, actually, shit. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to just wait? Hmm. Maybe I should have bought the swords while I had a chance. Uh, am I just supposed to wait, or... Is there a way out? Can I talk to that guy? Oh, okay. He... does something. So who are you, bud? Oh, horse feathers. Some old man, huh? My greed escape, and it's another cell! <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, he kinda... <laughs> Wait, why, why wouldn't he just blow up the, uh... Why wouldn't he just blow up the metal door? Wouldn't that make more sense? Oh, whatever. This guy's funny, though. I like him. <laughs> oh, you kids think that's funny, don't you? Yeah, not at all. Oh, this is... So this is Sid, huh? Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm glad we met, uh... The Sid of this game, guys. Forgive me, that was rude. Yeah, I guess you are kind of the... Put at fault for all this shit going on. It's been years. One day I found an ancient tomb in the Library of the Ancients. It said that thousands of years ago, the crystals had held much more power than they do now. So I studied the crystals at Tycoon, Walls, and Karnak, and built machines to enhance them. But I was wrong. Increasing their power output only caused them to shatter. Oh, it's all my fault. Kinda. But why are you locked up? I was too late to save crystals in Tycoon and Walls. Figured I could at least save the one here in Karnak. But then I tried to switch off the machine. They threw me in here. So, you're in the same boat as us. You're here to protect the crystals? Kinda. Yep, they asked us to. I'll write the uh, shards or whatever. What? A crystal shard? Who are you people? They're heroes, obviously. This is terrible. Oh no, Professor Sid. Wait, what did that say? Chancellor or something? this guy. Okay, you were alright all along. The crystals are cr the crystals cracked, of course it is. Blah 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 blah. Fire powered shipped. Fire powered shipped. Ship, not shipped. Shit. Leeching power from the crystal. Hmm. Looks like the crystal's a bit under strain right now, so I guess we're gonna go save it. Cahoots with... There's a werewolf? 
I haven't heard of this. Hmm. Where could this werewolf be? Of course he can help you, dumb fuck. Okay, what do you want? You're willing to help me, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, you're Sid. Usually Sid is the good guy in the games. Except for 12, Sid is the bad guy. And I call him a bad guy. Can I think of any other Sid that's bad in, in 12? Or in Final Fantasy? Okay, yeah, so if you had a guy on the inside, why would he, uh... Can't go in there. If you had a man on the inside, why doesn't he just have him, you know, get him out? I don't know, that doesn't make sense. What's this do? Okay, he does nothing. How do I get down there? Uh, I'm convinced I can get these chests somehow. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. I'm sure there's a way to put out the fire. I just can't fathom it right at the moment. Okay. Let's go down here again. Yeah, uh, just piss on it. I'll just, I'm just gonna go out the way the game wants me to. BF3. You can't get near the crystal. There are flames blocking the way. How come you're not like attacking us? Are you retarded? There's a crack in the crystal, and flames are shooting out of it. Hmm. Deep beneath the castle. Thanks for the advice, dumbasses. The fire power ship can even sail when there is no wind. I can see how that's gonna be useful in the game then. Okay. We figured out a way to use the power of the fire crystal crystal to drive our engines. Sorry, my face is itch is itchy, I don't know why. Okay, let's get on here. What do you gotta say? We tried turning off the machine before the crystal cracked, but shit went down, so we're out of luck. Out of my way, dick. I'm still liking the music in the game. Even though I can barely hear it because of the... Uh, I already talked about it earlier. But I do like it. Not the best Final Fantasy music, but... You know... For the time... Because I'm, I'm assuming this is the same music. From the original. Did you just pass through me? Yes, rumor... You've heard that correctly. Because we have them now. Werewolf on the loose. Wait, is the werewolf the... Uh, all the abonames or jack jack and apes or something. Captain, hang in there. Oh, Captain, my Captain. A black shadow hit. I guess he died or something. Alright. 